something else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, it is time to reveal the biggest secret in pool. So yeah, I'll, I will remove the glove here, okay? So you can see better, okay? It is about the bridge hand, how you can use a secret bridge to improve accuracy, okay? So first I will tell you what you need to do, okay? You need to keep the cue as level as possible at all times because it increases accuracy. If you would, if you would elevate the cue, you will reduce accuracy, okay? I will show you a, an example, okay? You elevate the cue, you accidentally get side spin and the cue ball goes away to the side, okay? But if you use a level cue, level cue, you see, level, then if you get accidentally side spin, the ball will still go in, okay? So that is what you want to do. And uh, the second, second thing you can do to increase accuracy is by using a short bridge. So you use uh, you use a very short, very short bridge, okay? Because less things can go wrong. If you use a very long bridge and you ac accidentally move your uh, back hand like this, whoops, you miss the cue ball. But if you do the same thing, if you do the exact same thing with a closed bridge and you move it like this, you will still hit the ball. You see? You see how much better you get if you use a short, short bridge, okay? Let's look at it again. Very short bridge, you move, you, let's move it to this side, okay, instead. Let's see if I make the ball. Whoops! You see how much I moved the backhand and I still made the ball, okay? Let's do the same thing with a, a long bridge. A long bridge, okay? Long bridge, very long bridge, like this, okay? Like this, okay, and I move it like this, okay? Whoa! I still hit the cue ball. Let's make it again. An even longer bridge, okay? Very long bridge, okay? And I move the backhand like this, okay? Ah, miss cue, okay? You see, I will show it again, okay? I this I, I, I move it to the uh, outside now, this time, okay? Let's see what will happen. Whoa! I, I didn't even hit the cue ball, okay? You see this? Okay, to the inside. <laughs> I missed the cue ball, okay. Now, let's use a short bridge. Short bridge and let's do the same thing again, okay? Same thing, outside. Yeah, I even hit the six ball there. And now I move, move the hand uh, inside, okay? With a sh very short bridge, very short. Yeah. I still hit the six ball and now again long bridge yeah you, you see you can try it yourself okay try it yourself and you will see that shorter bridge will make the ball more often than a long bridge does okay and uh, that is uh, uh, the one uh, the first reason how you can improve accuracy, okay? Second reason is keep your cue horizontal. Keep it level at all times, okay? Always keep it level, you see? Always keep it level like this and use a short bridge. Short bridge and keep it level, okay? So this is a great, uh, great way to improve your accuracy. But there's a problem with this and this is why people don't use this trick okay it is because when when you use bottom spin a draw shot okay a draw shot what happens what happens the cue is automatically elevated up because you can't hit the bottom part of the cue ball otherwise if you don't dive the tip down like this okay it's need it the cue the cue tip needs to be pointing at the bottom part of the cue ball and this causes the butt of the cue to lift up, so it is not horizontal anymore. Okay, so this is the reason why people don't use a short bridge. So instead, they use a long bridge like this, because this enables the butt of the cue 
to stay more horizontal, but still not fully horizontal. And if you use a closer, clo shorter bridge, you must, uh, you must uh, elevate the butt of the queue more. Long bridge, less elevation. But like I showed you, uh, a long bridge re reduces accuracy, okay? So many players, they use something in between, okay? Not too long, not too short, something in between. But that is not optimal, okay? So I have found the secret bridge how to make it possible by combining both both the short bridge and the level Q and I will show you okay it is by uh, using a magic closed bridge okay the normal closed bridge is by using like this okay three fingers pressing against the cloth and the, this part also and uh, the thumb and forefinger are in the air in the air and that is the normal closed bridge that you see many many pros use okay and they press this thumb against the long finger here okay middle finger here okay but that is not good okay i have found something even better okay and it is by pressing the thumb and forefinger directly into the cloth okay and all the fingers will be pressing against the cloth and also this entire area here to make a very stable bridge okay and you see how much level the queue is okay but it's all the way down at the rail you see this and i'm i'm aiming uh, at the bottom part of the cue ball the, it is very very low very far down okay the the queue the shaft is very far down compared to the open bridge you see this is the open open bridge magic closed bridge okay very far down okay you can't get this far down with any other bridge it is not possible okay oh, closed bridge normal closed bridge magic closed bridge the entire uh, side of the thumb is pressing against the cloth very stable extremely stable the most stable bridge ever okay this is incredible so I can use both a short bridge and keep the butt of the tube, ele uh, butt of the tube horizontal without elevating it at all, okay? So the no no normal players, they use uh, uh, a br bridge like this on draw shots and they, they still need to elevate the queue a little bit here, okay? Many, uh, many de degrees elevation, but with the magic closed bridge you can use a very short bridge and still elevate the queue less than what they use with their longer bridges and this is the key the key how to improve your accuracy okay with many thousands of percent for draw shots and overall in your entire game if you count all the other uh, shots all the other positions of the uh, uh, cue ball the, the position of the tip of, on the cue ball, like follow, side spin and everything, if you count, count all of those together, you get something like overall 50% improvement, improvement in skill overall in your entire game. And that is only after a single day, okay? And that is because the magic closed drawbridge increases your accuracy by many thousands of percent on draw shots only on draw shots not on anything else okay only on draw shots yeah so if you want to use uh, uh, center ball or top spin anything uh, anything above the center of the cue ball then you use the normal uh, open bridge like this normal open bridge for center ball and higher than center ball because you can still keep the cue level you can keep it horizontal but when, whenever you go below center you go below center you must use the magic grip magic uh, bridge like i showed because then you will keep the queue level okay so this is about 
uh, have a tip below center and I already used the magic closed bridge and I, the cue is as horizontal as it can be it is pressing against the rail here and when I move when I move down when I move the tip down it is still very close to the rail here very close so you can actually uh, touch your your fingers on the rail and this is the, the best this is the best this is, this is the optimal bridge and bridge length that you can get in pool because it will both keep the queue horizontal and minimize any errors in the stroke by using a short short bridge okay so this is incredible you need to you need to try it today okay try it today and tomorrow you will have improved your skill by 50 percent and i have compared it before and after i run the balls 50 percent more my high runs are 50 percent higher than before and in the draw shot in the in the long draw shots i can make them uh, maybe 20 times more often than before only on those shots long draw shots because before i when i use the standard bridges okay the, the open open draw bridge i got elevation of the queue and also the standard draw uh, standard uh, closed bridge elevation but now with the magic closed draw bridge i will get the level q horizontal q as horizontal as possible okay so this is the optimal way to play pool with this draw bridge and i see many many pros they don't know that okay i didn't know that i just discovered it by accident okay by accident so nobody nobody would say that you need to press these fingers into the claws nobody okay nobody because that is very strange okay you they recommend the open bridge the closed bridge like this to press against the middle finger but nobody teaches that you need to press the forefinger and, and thumb into the claws because that is a strange bridge but this works very 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 well works very well okay I am impressed of how good it works okay and you can see how I will show, show closer okay I will show without the cue okay these fingers presses against the claws this finger tip of the finger presses against the claws thumb presses against the claws the entire side of the thumb presses against the claws and also let me open here okay this back area presses against the claws presses against the claws everything everything presses against the cloth to make it very stable extremely stable uh, bridge and the open bridge is it is not stable okay and the normal closed bridge not stable okay it moves it moves and it reduces accuracy and also because you are more tense in your hand if you must keep it up like this entire time you are very tense but if you lay it down on the cloth everything press everything down on the cloth very relaxing very re relaxing because you don't need to lift anything up it is just very relaxed and normal very relaxed and this is what makes it uh, even better because you can focus on the shot instead of focusing on the bridge okay if you have an open open bridge you still need to focus on the bridge to to you know because this is this area is loose here this area is loose with the open bridge but with the magic closed bridge nothing is loose here you see it is pressing pressing against the cloth all the way around uh, the hand it is pressing against the cloth and this is incredible how much ac improved accuracy you get with this bridge so you want to use this as often as possible and i recommend uh, every time you shoot below center of the cue ball you will use this bridge okay that is what i recommend 
and try it yourself and tomorrow you will be a new player okay so that's the end of my video subscribe to my channel i will see you soon goodbye <music>